Hi everyone, welcome to another video. Today I'm going to be doing a follow-up to my Rock USB tutorial. This one will be about how to reflash your Pine Note if it becomes unrecoverable, or if you have a Batch 1 Pine Note, a developer edition, and you would like to move to the Debian system uh, that has been flashed on the Batch 2 Community Edition Pine Notes. For this tutorial, you're going to need some files from this GitHub repository, uh, from this GitHub organization, PineNote Debian Image. Go, yeah, we'll um, go to the releases. We'll go to the latest release, Debian Trixie 2025.1. And I'll just go through what files you need. So we'll go through um, up, uh, downloading the correct U-boot. This will allow us to use the uh, magnet method without having to upgrade and all that. Uh, our U-boot later on, like you have to with the factory image. We're going to need this to get into the bootloader. The logo, we won't need this. Debian partition 5 and data part dummy for OS partition 5.bin. These are all the files that we're going to need today. So we're going to go back to the main page of the repository and we're going to go to partition tables. This is where our tutorial is. Flashing the PyNote using RK develop tool. I'll show you where to get it. In the tutorial page, there is a working installation of Pine64's fork. You can right click here, go to the page, and install this. You'll need some dependencies. There's not very many. LibUSB, so you need Mason, Ninja, um, CMake, PKG config, all that kind of stuff. Um, it'll tell you, it'll give you an error if you are missing any dependencies. So that, um, and, yeah. That shouldn't be a problem for most users. Make sure to do a full backup of your Pine Note, especially your waveform. Your waveform is your, the, um, the configuration for your Pine Note display that's that's putting it simply and it's very important due to licensing issues we're not allowed to um distribute this uh the the waveform files so the ones that you get with your pine note you really need to look after all right Now I'm just going to have a look. So if you have a um, batch one pie note, you'll need to fix your U-boot. I don't. I personally don't have a. a um, I personally don't have a batch one pie note. So I'm not really sure what kind of issues people may have, but since it's a developer edition, I'm sure a lot of you guys will know what you're doing about that part. Alright, so let's go to the preparation. You'll need to download this new partition table, partition table standard 2.txt, and put that in a folder. With the, I, I would recommend putting all of these, the files that you've downloaded, into a single folder, just so it makes it easier, just to flash everything, including this partition table.txt. So this will be the, um, how, how your partition table is laid out. This is a new one, I'm pretty sure this will work for the... Yeah, this this should work for the batch one.
So you need these. You won't. You won't need these. Uh, U boot will be fine. And we already got these. You'll need to um. You need to unzip this file, and you'll just have the dot image file. We'll just splash that. Uh, with RK develop tool. Um, so for your batch one pie note, for those of you who have one of those, you'll need to back up all of your petitions. I do recommend um people who have their batch twos as well, please um back up your waveform. That's the that's just the main one that you'll want to keep. So RK develop tool, read partition, waveform, and then um I just put uh waveform dot image. But you can put whatever you want. Alright, so flashing the new partition layout and image. So this is gonna be your main instructions. RK develop tool reboot into master on road so this is at this point we are assuming that you're going to be in um you rock usb mode so you can go back to the previous tutorial on how to get into rock usb mode do that and um you're going to be using rk develop tool for this so reboot into mask rom actually i'm going to just actually i'm just going to quickly reboot into rock usb mode so i can do this along with you guys all right it should be booted in now okay just to make sure we're going to do list usb okay we're in so now we can start following the tutorial So, RK develop tool, reboot mask ROM. You need to go into a different mode for this. So, reset device OK. Going to need to boot into the bootloader. So, just need to go into our folder here. All right. Downloading bootloader succeeded. That's awesome. Now we need to write the new petition table. The new petition table. Okay. Done. That's awesome. Now we'll just do the U boot. Cool. We'll do the logo. Let's have a look. So, ah, okay. So we're using um for old Pine Notes. Use Art Logo New USB. Okay, cool. So there's a new one. Yep, so we'll just use logo new. Awesome. So that's just been written. Okay, now we need to do the uh, Debian partition. So we're going to do that now. So this may take a while. I'm just going to skip this part. I'll be back in a second okay now we're back we have written the image to the os1 petition and now all we need to do is write the dummy petition go data part dummy for os p5 dot bin and data kaboom there we go. Now we should be finished. Objection! 
before I forget, one thing we really, really, really need to do is to get the waveform file on here. So where is it? So waveform, uh, bleh, waveform image. Okay. So we need to just replace this. Right partition, waveform, and then waveform.image. And you can press enter on that. All right, now I'm going to switch to my phone. Alrighty, so now we've flashed all of the partitions onto the Pi Note, we can turn it on. So you'll need to turn, uh, you need to press on the button for around 5 to 10 seconds to force it out of uh, Rock USB mode. We'll just do that. Alright, and now we'll turn it on. Okay, so that's good. Uh, I think I can just take that out now. Okay, should turn on now. Awesome. And I'll just uh, turn it on. Should boot into GNOME very soon. But first, it needs to go through the, um, the first run script. So we're going to let it do that, and I'll be back in a second. And voila. So it's rebooted after finishing the script. And it should just boot straight into Linux now. Ah, oh, this is great. Now, if everything has gone successfully, everything should just work. Now, note this is an older image at the beginning of January 2025. At the moment, um, things still could change in the instructions, but I think everything should mostly be set in stone. Awesome, and we've just got the help help um, application so awesome so everything seems to be here nice so if you do the updates um, just update the system there's 500 or so packages right now and you will be with feature parity with the uh, the brand new factory image that I tested and demoed the other day, uh, I just t I've tested this procedure a couple of times and I was able to get feature parity, um, and everything works just like the uh, the new factory image. So I'm really happy. I hope you guys found this video uh, useful, and uh, yeah. Not too much else to say about this one. I really appreciate you guys watching. I uh, hope you have a great weekend. Um, and uh, have fun at Fosdom. I know Fosdom's happening this weekend. Um, unfortunately, I'm, I'm obviously not here. I'm still in New Zealand. So I will not be seeing any of you there. Next year. Next year. Alright. See you later, guys.